So in the other videos, we have our sine function moving this platform up and down with the amplitude of 20. We have this cos function moving this left and right with the x value going back and forth, amplitude 20 again. This is using cos and sine. And this guy, wherever he is, this is tan, the tan function. So it's slow in the middle and then zips off to infinity. Wah. Okay, so what if we wanted to combine all of these? Because there's frequency, there's amplitude, there's all kinds of stuff going on, phase shifts we had before. So we're going to open up our oscillator script. So I explained this in the other video, but this is our oscillator script. So here we've got our amplitude is 20. We've got one phase shift over here. And we saw with tan, we multiplied time by a number or we divided time by a number and that changed the frequency, the, the period. So we can put all these numbers together and just like these, this use sine and use cos that we see right here, these checkboxes, we're going to make numbers this time. So public int for integer, oh wait, float for a decimal number. Uh, we're going to have amplitude, no, no A, amplitude. We're going to have frequency. And we're going to have phase shift. So the 20, we want to replace that with amplitude. Same thing with this 20. Going to have to put this to sine and cos again because I'm getting rid of that phase shift from the other video going to get rid of this, but this was our phase shift. So instead of adding pi over 2, we're going to add phase shift. Same thing up here. Whoops, phase shift. And finally, we're going to multiply by the frequency. Right. So save that. Go back in the game. And after a second or two, this will pop back up. We're going to have to actually fix these because now they're all going to get stuck. Except that one, but well, that's another another script, but these ones aren't moving anymore because we're, the amplitude is zero, basically. So it doesn't matter what's going on here. Amplitude is zero. So it's as though we were just going back to our start position. So this one was moving up and down, right? So the amplitude was 20. The frequency, well, it was one, but let's slow it down or speed it up. Slow it down, speed it up. Well, we'll see what it does. The phase shift, we're gonna keep that at zero for now. This one was moving side to side and the amplitude was 20 again. Frequency, we we'll keep it at one. And this one was amplitude, actually they were all amplitude 20, frequency one. But let's say this frequency, so this one was five, the one that was going up and down. This one, we're gonna set it to 0 0.1. So is this gonna be the slow one or the fast one? Look at here again. So times frequency, so one of them is gonna have times five, the other one is gonna have times 0 0.1. So this is times five. So that when the frequency is five times higher, it goes five times as often. And here, the frequency is, is 0 0.1. The frequency is smaller, so it happens less often. And this was just one. But now we can combine these and make some kind of level, I guess. You could even just make, let's see, frequency 1, and then I'm going to copy this, make the amplitude 15, copy it again, make the amplitude 10, copy it again, make the amplitude 5, and copy it again and make the amplitude 1. And what's that going to look like? Well, like that. So they're all moving up and down, they're following each other. 
right now, right in the middle, right now, they're all moving as fast as they can. They're all behaving the same. The only difference is amplitude. And I don't know if you want to try to make an interesting level out of this, out of all these platforms. I'm sure you could try to get somewhere, play with the amplitude using sine cos, not cos, maybe throw in some tan. Try to make a platform game out of that.